All right, Shalom. First off, and for most as always, I want to say, call Halloween La Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakodash. Double honor is being to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that do rule and teach well. And of course, it's a sense of Shalom. I'm telling Akim out there. This person's truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay, so real quickly, this is going to be a quick hit through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, and, um, yeah, man, I just want to go into how, you know, the elect, you know, they're not uh, regular Israelites. They're not ordinary men. Okay, because first and foremost, you know, all Israel, all right, are not going to be saved. Okay. And the elect, the reason why they're going to be delivered, because first and foremost, they've been, you know, uh, you know um, ordained to be chosen. Before the foundation of the world, you know, the, there is very special spirits until you have about Shema Shai, okay? And coming back around to these times, being that we're in captivity under under the Edomites, okay, here in Babylon, and, you know, of course, everywhere we're, we've been scattered to, but mainly here in Babylon, okay, the uh, elect, you know, serving you about Shema Shai and returning unto the Lord and repenting, all right, you know, and, uh, and now that they've you know, um, been spiritually awoken, they're in a secret place, okay? And the secret place, according to scriptures, is what? It's truth, all right? You know, they're in the secret place calling upon the names of Yahweh Bashim Shai, you know, run into that strong tower, okay? The elect are the ones, you know, sighing and crying and, you know, just just uh, hasting into the day of Yahweh Bashim Shai, all right? And no one out here, Besides the elect is fully doing that, okay, because they know, you know, uh, uh, they know that um, that uh, uh, this truth, all right, is precious above all things upon this earth. Okay, so these men have been, uh, uh, you know, ordained by Yahweh Shad before the whole foundation was even, you know, of the world was even began. All right. So uh, real quickly, this is the book of... Um, Slack you. This is the book of let's see Romans eleven and verse seven and it says, What then Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for? Right, because you know you have a lot of Israelites that you know are amongst these religions, okay, Christianity, you know, Islam, you know, um even being atheists, okay, not believing in higher power. Okay, you have a lot of Israelites that seek the truth, but the Lord hasn't opened them up. You know, the Lord hasn't, you know, uh, uh, opened their eyes, you know, and then um, opened their ears because, you know, the Lord has, you know, uh, uh, kept a certain remnant unto himself that's precious unto him who is elect to receive this truth. Okay, now you're going to have Israelites knowing that they're Israelites, but... There's a, but there's a, a, diff a difference between knowing that you're an Israelite and fully, you know, uh, uh, um, understanding, you know, the whole matter of this truth. OK, you're going to have some Israelites that have one foot in and one foot out. But the elect, you know, they're going to be, you know, uh, um, 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 diligent. They're going to be uh, uh, steadfast and grounded and serving you by Shema Shai. OK, so Israel, meaning Jake, OK, the, the, the two thirds out here. You know, they have not obtained what they seek for and what do they seek? The truth. All right. And it says, but the election hath obtained it. All right. The elect have, uh, had uh, obtained it. Because why? Because the scriptures say, um, you have not chose me, but I chose you. You know, me, uh, you know, you have Bashma Shai called, you know, and Lord's will, you know, we'd be chosen. OK, the, the most high chose us to be in this truth, you know, and uh, I, I run our desire that we'd be, you know, chosen to be delivered, man. Okay, so the election have ha have obtained this truth, all right. And it says, and the rest were. <clears throat> okay, so like yeah, I was interrupted, but um, back to the point, Romans eleven and verse seven, it says, but the election had obtained it, and the rest were blinded, right? And and, and who was the rest that were blinded? Okay, the rest of the Israelites. Okay, and actually, if I keep reading, it will go into it, uh, verse eight, and it says, according as it is written, the Most High have given them the spirit of slumber. All right, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear until this day. Okay, so Yahweh Shmuel Shai, like uh, uh, have 
has uh, uh, you know, spiritually uh, shut their eyes and spiritually closed their ears so that way they cannot hear this truth or perceive this truth. All right. Just like how it says in the book of Isaiah, the sixth chapter. OK, verse nine. OK, these Israelites out here that walk past the camps and, you know, watch, you know, come across videos and whatnot. And, you know, just, you know, uh, uh, got, you know, got, you know, familiar with the word by, you know, somehow, you know, the Lord has not opened their minds up fully to fully, you know, uh, obtain this truth. OK, and that's why you want to count yourself blessed and count yourself grateful that you. Not only know that you're an Israelite, but you know, you know, the uh, the dark sayings, the parables, the breakdowns, because even though, like I said earlier, through the spirit, you have Israelites that know that they're, you know, that they're Israel, but they don't know certain things. You know, you know, you got some Jakes that still calling on Christ, still calling on different names like Yahweh and Yeshua, you know, Ahaya. OK, still believing, you know, uh, 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 the uh, Sabbath is, you know, it's Friday to Saturday. You know, but of course you're gonna have the elect. You know, if they do come to this fold, they're gonna eventually, you know, uh, um, brush those things off. But you got, you know, Jake's out here that are fully, you know, been this thing for a minute and still doing the same thing. You know, it's, like I said, you know, one foot in and one foot out. Okay. Real quickly, this is the book of um, Colossians. Chapter one and verse twenty-six. All right, and it says, even the mystery which had been hid from ages and from generations, but now is met, but now is made manifest to the saints. Okay, and what's the mystery? Okay, us knowing that there that we're Israelites, you know, us knowing that, you know, we're the chosen people of the Haobash Shai. Okay. Us knowing that uh, 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 we have a kingdom coming soon unto us for eternal uh, for, for, all, for all eternity. Us knowing that you know Esau Edom was our enemy, so on and so forth. Okay, you know those are mysteries, man. You know, that's the biggest secret in the world to know that the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the true biblical Israelites. That's a high-level secret. Okay, but the elites, the, the powers that be, they know this. The credit council, they know this. You know, and that's why they try so hard to keep us in the, in the conditions that we're in today. But guess what? You have about Shmuel Shai, right? Has has uh, woke us up. Okay. You know, and uh, uh, and gave us back and gave us back our heritage. All uh, right, uh, right now the the uh, exceeding great army, the spiritual army, House of David is waking up. All right, and through them waking up is how is how uh, uh, this truth is spreading like wildfire. And through this truth spreading like wildfire, these mysteries have been you know given unto us from men like the apostles and elders and their elders. You know, and and trickling none down. Okay, so and, and those mysteries, you know, are being are are you know are, um, are flourishing. OK, because you have the, the, the scriptures say in the book of Ezra, it says truth, uh, truth shall flourish. All right. And guess what? You know, truth is flourishing. All right. And that's why this word spiritually bring it down uh, Esau's kingdom. OK, uh, spiritually bring it down uh, uh, Babylon. OK, now, if you go into the word mystery, I'm going to get it real quickly in the blue, the, the blue letter Bible. All right. And it's uh, Colossians one twenty six. In the word mystery, it says a hidden thing, a secret or mystery, generally mysteries, religious secrets. And it says confided, uh, con con uh, confided only to the initiated and not to ordinary mortals. And who's the initiated? The elect. OK, now real quickly, let's look at the word confided and initiated. All right. And the word confided means it spells a C-O-N-F-I-D-E. And the word confide, it means to reveal, to open one's heart to. It says, uh, tell someone about a secret or private matter while trusting them not to repeat it to others. Right. So that proves that, that this truth is precious. OK, the most High has, you know, has revealed the secret unto the servants of prophets. All right. Let's get that real quick. This is uh, Amos. Three and seven. And it says, surely the Lord God, Yahweh Shai, will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Right, man, the elect. OK, because even though, like I said, I'm keep saying it, even though all even though you have some Israelites that, that know that they're Israelites, you know, 
some Israelites still don't know the secrets and the, you know the dark sayings of the scriptures. Okay, and that's why you have a uh, 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 elect remnant that do have the scriptures. I'm just like the uh, the breakdowns of the scriptures and the dark sayings. You know, you know the house of David. Okay, and those are the elect. Okay, those these elect men are not you know ordinary Israelites. They're not ordinary mortals. Okay, so Yahweh Shmuel Shah has given these men secrets. You know, and you know, and uh, 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 open their heart. You know, to you know to uh, to have it. Okay, and, and to fully uh, uh, use it to the best of their ability. Okay, and how and how and how are they doing that by preaching? You know, and then going out being fishers of men and sealing more of the elect. Okay. Now let's go back to Colossians one twenty six. Okay, and it says um, back in the meeting it says confided only to the initiated few. Okay, so like now let's go into where it initiated. And it says um, a uh, a small group of people who share obscure knowledge. All right, and who is that? The elect. Okay, a small group of people, and what's that? That small remnant. Okay, because the elect is a very small remnant. It's, it's only going to be one hundred and forty four thousand people. Okay, and that's that's very small, man. Because people on this earth, how how many people? Are like seven billion. Okay, but it, but within that, there's only going to be a hundred and forty-four thousand to be saved. Okay, then uh, you know, and uh, and then following the multitude, you know, uh, you know, the one third. Okay, but first and foremost, it's going to be the hundred and forty-four thousand who, who are Israelite men. All right, that's a very small number. Okay, compared to the rest of the world, that's very small. Just like the days of Noah, you had eight souls be saved. You know, Noah and his wife and his sons, and their wives. Okay, and amongst those people, you know, none were saved but Noah and his house. Okay, so how much more coming around this time? We're gonna have the elect only being only being delivered. Okay, and it says um, the word initiated back into the word. I read it again. So like yeah. It says um, a small group of people, right? The elect who share obscure knowledge. All right, and and what do they share? This truth. All right, because this truth, as it says in the book of Wisdom of Solomon, it says this. Um, Lord, let me get it real quick. Real quick, real quick. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon uh, 7 and 9, it says, Neither compared I unto her any precious stone, because all gold in respect of her is as little as sand. And silver shall be counted as clay before her. So basically, the, the truth is above any uh, riches upon this earth, any gold or silver upon, upon this earth. Okay, this thing is very divine. This is this is the divine wisdom. Okay, and people always say in the world like, you know, you know, they always are curious about their purpose in life. But guess what? The purpose in life is to serve Yahweh by Shmuel Shai. That's the that's the whole that's the whole conclusion of the matter. Okay. We're, we're, you know, we're at the pinnacle of, you know, of, uh, of our purpose in life is to serve Yahweh by Shema Shai. It gets no better than this, man. All right, this is it. Okay, everything else outside this truth is vain. Okay, it's void. All right, and that's why this truth is so precious because anything outside this truth, you know, it doesn't matter. Okay, not your family, not your children. All right, not even yourself, man. All right, it's all about Yahweh by Shema Shai, man. Okay, so that's why I say you want to count it, you know, count yourself blessed and grateful that you that you have uh, been called to be in his ministry and Lord's will, uh, you uh, you uh, you uh, you'll be chosen chosen. Okay. Now back to Colossians one and verse twenty six, and it says, uh, uh, back to the word, the meaning of the word mystery it says, uh, confided only to the initiated. And not to ordinary mortals, right? But to not ordinary mortals. Okay, brother. So we're not ordinary. Okay, we're not, you know, typical beings. Now it may seem like, you know, that you know, we because we're you know being humbled right now and being having the spirit of uh humility doesn't mean that we're you know not uh, uh anything, okay. The Lord is gonna soon make us more precious than fine gold, as we are right now, because we're being tried through the fire, man. Okay, that you know, right, uh, right the, the the Lord right now is purging us, He's building us up, okay, and that's one thing about this world too. People they look on the outside but not on the inside. But guess what? You have about Shmuel Shai looks on the inside and not on the outside, 
It's about the spirit, man. It's not about the, the out, outward appearance. Okay? All right, now, uh, let me see one more. This is the book of um, Ephesians 1 and verse 4. Get to the point. And it says, according as he have chosen us in him before the foundation of the world. Okay, right. And, and who did he choose? The elect. So before the foundation of this planet Earth was even created, he chose certain spirits to be dear to him. Okay. And it says that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestinated us. Until the adoption of children by Yahweh Shai Mashiach to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he hath made us accepted in, in the beloved. Okay, and it's like it in the beloved. Okay, but the point I want to get was saying where it says, having predestinated us, right? But so we've been predestinated. Okay. And real quick, the word predestined means uh, to predetermine. Okay, to uh, decide beforehand, to foreordain. It says to uh, a point beforehand. All right, now let's get the uh, meaning in the uh, the uh, online etymology. It says, uh, in theology of God, to ordain by a divine degree or purpose. Okay, so we've been so the elect, you know, Lord's will, you know, we're all a part of it. Well, you know, hey man, I say that speaking as a man first and foremost for myself, Lord's one part of the elect, that, that small remnant. Okay, but we've been, you know, called to a, a uh, by a, by Haba Shmashai for a divine purpose. Okay, for a divine purpose of a very, very, very divine God, man, the true power, which is Haba Shmashai, the ancient of days, man. Okay, so we're not ordinary men, we're not ordinary mortals, man. Okay, we have value, and Haba Shmashai sees our value, man. And that's why right now we're being purged and being going through this, this friends of, uh, the, the friends of adversity to be uh to be uh cleansed, you know that spiritual baptism, all right. Because soon Yahweh Bashmar Shai is gonna exalt us. He's gonna show the the uh, the world who we truly are. All right, we're gonna be outstanding, man. All right, so Lord's will. You know, hope you brothers. You know, we're edified through inspiring power of Yahweh Bashmar Shai. That being said, I just wanna say, call her name La Yahweh Bashmar Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash. With that being said, shall I want?